the Puma story in Scandi PWA in three months. They want money, nice content, and we also have this. Wow. We are about to share our exciting news. And I would love for, for somebody who doesn't know what is Puma is and what is this brand about, I want to share first their video. It is not done by me, by us, in, but well, it's just to set, set you up on the right mood for my screen. Bam. I hope oh, you see this. Wow. So. All right, well, this musical pause is over and we can be back to the presentation. So, so the title of the presentation is basically self-explanatory, but let's, let me first introduce myself. So um, I'm Alex, uh, I am a part of Scandi PWA team as a well, evangelist and true believer in the technology. Also, I am with Scandi Web as a business developer, so I'm basically everywhere, okay. Uh, usually, it is super important to understand first of all, we all are here, we all know why PWA is so cool, but I would love to, to bring, to draw a line about the necessity of it, because everybody's speaking about the technology stack in, in the community, so this is very important. This is super cool. Uh, we have plugins that are mentioned by Antons. This is very good. Uh, but for Architecture for business means nothing. This is very good for us as, as developers, but for the business, uh, money, they want money. And what is driving money is basically a good website. But what makes website good one is speed. So average loading, loading speed of the page right now is eight seconds. And this kind of is sounds well, it's just eight seconds, but Let's see the example of these eight seconds in real time. Uh, so, and only now home page loaded. So, when we think about PWA, this new technology, but what it solves for us. It solves the necessity for the user to wait that much. That creates the um, brand credibility in the, eye, in the eyes of the user from the very first moment when they visit the website and they boom, see it is done. And this, uh, well, this could be potentially be achieved by a lot of caches, but why not to use the PWA plus caches? So, uh, why Puma joined our site, our site of PWA stores? Well, it, it, uh, it turned out from the very simple example of the current store that they have, like uh, if I would be Puma and somebody from Scandi PWA community will say, oh, Puma joined our site and I, I as a Puma, as a wildcat will ask why those epic why and i will show just the public data of the current website uh, this is a category page of the puma us which is not pwa so as a performance we have only 19 that is blocked by long rendering time long long images procession uh, and basically php execution well it has uh, caches as well but it is not as good as it could be. But if we are speaking about the sport brand, uh, which is promoting the speed, uh, even its website shall be speaking about the speed. So uh, we see the problem. We see the problem in this number and we need to do something uh, to resolve it. So basically that's our, um, our main point, which we are resolving we are resolving the performance issue for the user in terms of speed and in terms of overall performance and uh, the duration of the user session. So this is the 
public data of the category page of the Mexican website, which is on Scanty PWA. Uh, there, are, uh, there, there were a lot of things which were implemented, and I will, I will go through them shortly, but basically this is our approach of resolving the uh, performance issue for the fastest brands in the world, and we think and believe that their store shall be also the fastest store in the world. So, how we've achieved that? Uh, well, yeah, I hate those slides, but I think that it is important to have it here just to give you an idea of what could be potentially done to make the store as fast and as good as Puma's Mexican store is right now. So basically, with help of Alfred's, with huge help of Alfred's, we've optimized the bundle size. And of course, the development team, they re removed all the uh, unnecessary things from the, um, well, from the bundle. So if, if we, for example, we are not using wish list, why to have wish list in the bundle? That's what I usually see on Scandi PWA stores right now, once they are launched, that uh, the, it is you, uh, they are using the data and they have the code in the final like JavaScript, which is compiled, uh, that, that, well, that is not used at all. So we also mix the server-side rendering with, uh, with uh, oh, user-side. Why I wrote that? Yeah, so we basically, we are rendering a bit of the information on the server to be sent in priority. This is the heaviest uh, operation. Uh, which we do uh, during this Candy PWA rendering, and in that we split it into two different streams. So server side is do, is handling the heaviest part, and then uh, everything else is optimized. Then of course varnish redis. I usually also see stores which are not using those caches, or for example they are using just one cache and not the other. Uh, but basically it is super important to have all, both. Then with the images, then we've implemented lazy Logan, and then also this is a new approach uh, which we've identified. It is uh, YUN, uh, it is what you need. Uh, so on PLP, on product, on the heaviest basically page, uh, which is uh, category listing, uh, we can, we have this, uh, Mm, great chance provided by Scandi Web to or <laughs> provided by Scandi PWA to only request what we need. Basically, we are removing, for example, on PLP, usually I see product description coming in. And we have 30 products and 30 product descriptions coming in, also product attributes. We don't need them on PLP. We need filters, and that's it. And we need some basic information, but so we basically uh, modified the product query for PLP and of course hosting on ReadyMage, but that was boring, I believe, uh, because uh, so by thinking about the community and about Scandi PWA as a product, uh, we also uh, we introduced several of those improvements already as a part of Scandi PWA current release. So you don't need to think about those huge lists. Okay, you can take it for future reference, of course, but I don't think that you need to go through it. You just need to identify what it's import is important uh, to be requested from GraphQL and not because this varies from business to business, but everything else you can, I guess, reuse it. But it, that was boring, so, and it was complicated. So what I can suggest for the business to start right now and uh, like hmm, entail the business uh, into the PWA world using Scandi PWA uh, in the same way as Puma Mexico did, uh, is just to start using basically Scandi PWA plus your brand and plus the proper hosting for Scandi PWA products uh, is stores because ReadyMage usually uh, is increasing the Lighthouse score by 10 to 20 at minimum. And in our case, it was a huge help from ReadyMage team as well uh, because they've achieved 
it it's uh, the increase to basically maximum point. You also have URL below. You can go and check. You can browse the website, and I think that we can browse it together. So I will prove that it's not a fake. So yeah, so we have. I almost know everything on this website already. So we have this nice, nice content, which is completely configurable from the, uh, from the back end. Then we have this optimized PLP with all those nice features with hovers. Then we have nice filters. Then we have basically PDP with the transition from PLP to PDP, like in a mobile app. And basically, then we have all all the e-commerce flow uh, coming like to cart page and check out. Uh, well, I think so. You, I would be very very happy if you will write me back. What do you think about the website uh, uh, at all? So, if you will find and spot some some area for improvement, you are also very welcome to send it over to me. Uh, that would be very valuable help from community. And then our development team will basically uh, take it over. Yeah, and we also have this. Wow. All right. I think Roland joined because I'm out of time, right, Roland? Or not? No, no, no. All good. You have time. I uh, all good, but I am near at the end of the presentation. So again, my photo and these glasses. And babam, and this is our envi my envision of how your store looks like without the PWA technology. It is like half of avocado without the seed, without the baby, basically. Yeah, so yeah, without the baby. So yeah, that was it. If you have some questions, uh, you can post them in the chat. I will be super, super, super happy to answer them. And yeah, that's it, I guess. I'll stop sharing my screen. How do I do this? Okay. Yeah. So, so, so. Uh, Roland, I, I'm not sure if uh, we can hear you. We can't. You are on mute. Yeah. Um, so, well, while Roland is still on mute, by the way, Roland, I will, I will show you the empty room where the magic is happening. So basically, this is an empty room where Scandi PWA is, uh, well, evolving from version to version, the meetings with Antons. Yes, Alfred sat in this room. I will guide you to the Alfred's place. Yes. This one, Alfred's, we are missing you here. Oh, he even have some tea. Well, old tea. Yeah, so also, well, and basically here, all the team is sitting. Yep, thank you. Uh, Roland Do you is... hear me now? Yes. Awesome. Yes. So uh, we still have a little bit of time, five minutes until the next session. So a question about Puma. Naturally, they are a huge brand. They have their own identity. How was it to capture all the huge needs of theirs to translate it into the theme? By default, Scandi PWA looks uh, far from what Puma looks now. So how did you achieve it? How do you capture it? Uh, well, basically, the main... The main um... Main challenge here was that they had a theme which was evolving for five years, I guess. It, so it is a regular magenta theme, and the main like acceptance criteria of this work was to replicate the theme which was evolving for five years in Scandi PWA uh, in three months. Well, we did that. It was because of uh, how React is performing and how basically the modern uh, technology stack we have in Scandi PWA, it was much more faster, like, well, 10 times, 15 times faster to, uh, to basically introduce the same amount of features in Scandi PWA and basically migrate them. Uh, so yeah, so that was, but, but again, uh, it was a, um, a result of 
huge mapping of every component to the Scandi PWA component because we we were not the a, uh, the developers who originally created the theme, so we didn't know it at all, and we needed to learn it, understand, and basically replicate. So in total, it took us three months to to do that, and I think that for such a big theme, uh, that is pretty fast. I think it's amazing to do it in three months. That's astonishing. So uh, great, great, Alex. Thank you for sharing the Puma story. Uh, this is yeah. this is something to remember. <laughs>